Shalom, brothers and sisters. So in Kiryat Tivon, Israel, residents have now elected Israel's first transgender city councillor. For the first time in Israel's history, a transgender person was elected to a local council, with well-known social activist Sheila Weinberg winning a seat in Kiryat Tivon during Tuesday's nationwide municipal elections. The Aguda, the Association for LGBTQ Equality in Israel, welcomed the 65-year-old former teacher and Israeli Trans Association chair election, tweeting that Weinberg had made history for the gay community and the trans community. Last June, a Haredi member of the Prime Minister's coalition blasted the LGBTQ community in an interview, saying... It was a graver threat to Israel than Islamist terror groups and adding it was his duty to prevent these marches. As per Torah, despite this, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and others in his coalition say that they are committed to protecting gay rights. Where to start and if this video will even make it. Uh, Zechariah 13 verse 8 to 9. That God is going to bring them to the tribulation and through it. Two thirds will be lost. One third will make it through. It will be refining of the nation. Testing of what's left after they've gone through it. Why? Because of the sin and the evil and the abominations of the nations that they have taken on board and practiced inside God's land. That is what is happening right now in Israel. And we see that in things like this. And I'm sorry if you don't like hearing that. Go read your Bible. This is not what God ordained. This is not what God said is right. It is wrong in his eyes and should not be done or practiced at all. And they are doing this in his land, his land, his people. Hence, the time of Jacob's trouble, the final chance to fix all these things and sins and abominations, stuff like this, and purge them, refine them, and test them, and bring out that third that will serve the Lord God, that will say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai. That is when they will see him coming back at the end of the tribulation to collect that final third that made it through everything. But right now, we see sin and we see wickedness and we see all these things where it shouldn't be. But because people are living without Yeshua, without that guide, without that anchor in their lives, without the willingness to stand on the word of God, no matter what the world or your friend circles or social norms are at the time. This is as in the days of Noah and as in the days of Lot. We are living in a Sodom and Gomorrah generation. And we should be shining the light. We should be the pariahs, the outcasts, the pushed aside because we don't want to change with the times. No, we don't. We want to stand on the word of God. We want to follow his laws. We want to walk with the water walker. And if that costs me the world, I'm fine with that. I don't store up treasures for myself on this earth. My treasures are in heaven. My purpose is to serve the Lord God. And that is how we should be living. Not worried about what the world says. Worry about what God says. Pray for Israel. Pray for people to wake up and to stop sinning, to turn from their wicked ways. God bless and shalom.